Hello everyone. So in this uh, tutorial of Java 8, we are going to look a little deeper into the map and the flat map function. So if you're already working into the Java 8 and the stream APIs, you already have encountered both map and the flat map. There is a little confusion about it when I should be using a map, when I should be using a flat map or are those a kind of a replacement to one another, but that's not the case. You, in some cases, yes, flat map makes sense. In some cases, uh, you should be able to do everything using a map function. There are certain use cases where you should be that is you need to have a combination of a map and a flat map. Probably you first transform things into the map and then you use a flat map to kind of uh, flattening out the output, right? So let's uh, look uh, before we get into it, right? So there are quite a similarity between the map and the flat map. For example, both takes an stream as an input and both produce the output as a stream of file, which is the return type, right? Uh, the, one of the fundamental difference between the map and the flat map is map transform the values, whereas flat map transform the values as well as going to flattening out your values, right? We will be looking into more detail what this third statement means, but those are a kind of uh, uh, basic difference between the map and the flat map. To get an understanding about the map and the flat map when we should be using it, I have a, a small example. So I'm not get, going to get into a more detail of it. It's a very straightforward example of using a map. So what I'm saying, doing here is I'm creating a list of the string and as an output, what I want is give me the length of each word, right? So what I'm saying is this is one word, this is second, this is third and this is fourth. Process each word and give me an output. So if you recall it right map is basically what what it does it takes input process an element and give you an output right so it's going to process each and every element of our list or or of our stream process it based upon what is the function uh, the functional interface but we are passing it as a as a parameter to our map right because it can take a lambda as an input and then the collect method is going to collect it in a list right so it's a very straightforward. What I'm saying is process the stream and then for each word, give me the length. It's as simple as it, right? There is no complexity. There is nothing like that. But now let's tweak this example a little bit. Okay. So let's look into our second example. Okay. I'm going to remove this one for now. Okay. So let's tweak that example a little bit and what we are saying say this is my input as an output can you give me a list of unique word in that input so what what does that mean that means at the end of once you're done with the processing this is what i need as an output okay so process each thing each word and then come up with the final output, which is going to be this final output with all the unique words within that list. Okay, how how you should be approaching that one? So I think one of the the very first approach we might try is okay. Let's convert it into a stream, and then because I have to process each and every word right literals from this uh, these words so um, what i'm saying is give me each input which is this one i'm going to split this one okay then i'm going to do the going to find the distinct elements and then i'm going to collect it as a list okay that might be our first approach all right but there is a one fundamental problem there, right? If you remember, the input of the map is always going to be a stream of return type, right? That is the input of our map, okay? This is going to split each word into an array, right? You are with me. So ultimately, the input of this map is going to be stream of string array okay and when i i'm going to process right then distinct distinct is not going to transform your element right that's that's the that's the functionality or that's the 
that's the responsibility of the map distinct is only going to filter out the distinct elements so for my distinct one my output will be again stream of the string and when i'm going to collect it through the collector this is the output is going to be because my collector is okay collect all the things into a list so it my input my my map is going to produce a stream of string array and this collector is going to collect that stream into a list so the stream becomes a list and my array become and this is not what i want what i was looking for is list of string that's right okay let's look into us one flow maybe in in a pictorial way to give you a better understanding about it so this this is what i was talking about right i have a two input i'm going to split it this is going to create a stream of array stream of array so that is what an array of what string array right so that is the stream of string array that's what that is the output of this map function and then distinct is not going to uh, it's not going to do anything and ultimately it's going to return me the stream of string and when i collect it i'm going to sorry this is wrong i'm going to okay this will be the list of the string but that is not what i was looking for what i was looking for is the final list of the strings with a unique thing so what i'm looking for is is there a way when i am getting a stream of string this one right can i get a final input as a stream of string before i apply the distinct function and then i am going to collect it right so this is where your flat map method will get into the picture okay let's tweak this example a little bit to see what i meant and how i can use a flat map with this one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a flat map here okay and okay so what i did there is so if you can see right what i did is the output of this map function is going to be a stream of string array right and what i'm going to do what i'm saying in this next statement is that hey flat the input whatever the input you are getting into the stream array okay so what i am going to get is stream of string okay so what i'm going to do is so my map map my map is going to produce something like this and then when i apply a flat map it is going to convert or it's going to flatten out the input if you remember uh, in in the initial statement i said map flat map is nothing but map and then flattening out so it is going to give me this information and that is what we were looking for right so basically what happened it gives me the and what i was looking for a list of uh, string so i just basically going to flattening out this input okay let's let's look into into a kind of a workflow to give you a better understanding of what's happening behind the scene so this as we know right the map this is going to give us a stream of string array right and when i apply a flat map what it does is it basically going to combine all of the stream into this string array into a simple stream it's going to kind of a going to flattening out your uh, or your input right so this is the final output what i am going to get out of it right it's going to combine everything and then distinct function is going to work as expected it going to uh, filter out all the duplicate element and finally when i use my collect method right the collector it's going to convert the stream is going to basically going to collect the stream into a list and that's what we were looking for okay again this is wrong string of uh, array this is going to be uh, sorry for that one but this this is going to be a stream of string
If you do simple word, right? Our flat map function is doing nothing, but it basically concatenating all the input stream into a single stream. Okay. I hope that that will give you a better understanding <clears throat> when what is the difference between map and flat map? What, how they are fundamentally different with each other, right? And when the map works perfectly fine for use case, uh, as compared to when flat map uh, fits into your picture, or when it's a best to combine both. For 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 example, in this case, we use the map and flat map together to get the desired output. I hope this, uh, as I said, I hope that this video, this tutorial, will give you a better understanding. Thanks. Thanks for watching this video.